All right, so we said we were gonna let you follow along with us building a lot of different kind of stuff. So, first thing we're gonna talk about, we have this beautiful 1970s. Wait, 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 wait. What? We're gonna start with this one. Oh, my bad. We got this beautiful 2000 Chevy Cavalier. Now, I just picked this one up, brought it back. I paid a whopping 200 bucks for it. Still has a converter on it. I figured with what we got in weight, we're about broke even, so we should be in pretty good shape. Now, some genius, I'm not gonna say who, couldn't even get the hood open when we were trying to pick it up, but it was like negative 15 with I think negative 30 wind chills when I was trying to pick this thing up. So since it fired, I figured we'd just put her on the trailer and we'd all learn together. So Adam, you think we can try to get the hood open on this thing again? It looked like it actually broke loose. I, I might have spent a little bit of time with Big Bertha trying to help me get this thing open. It was probably frozen. <laughs> else in the world just so you guys know we are actually at like a whole seven above today so we're doing pretty good all right as we were hoping beautiful we have the chevy 2200 non-ecotech non-ecotech which is something fairly big we know you race guys like the ecotech stuff but ecotech would have that giant gaudy plastic intake on the front of it and that's not exactly something we want so everything else in here it all looks pretty clean Overall, not a bad car. We'll go talk about the rust as we go around the side of the car, uh, where it looks like he got some concerns, but this actually... This is new. This is probably not standard. <laughs> we got this steak knife special. All right, that's, uh, that's a little concerning. Put that it's, on top for now. Maybe you get mugged while you're now checking the oil. Fingerprints all over it. <laughs> you just became part of a crime scene. Can you drop that hood back down, Adam? Now, if you look, overall, front is actually pretty straight. It did have a little bit of a run-in, um, maybe a pre-ran, you could call it. It ran against Bambi once, and, well, I guess the insurance company decided that it was uh, Bambi 1. So, if we come around to the side, you can start to see the concerns right over there. Bottom of these doors are pretty rotted out, but the reason that we still picked this car up, I'm going to see how well the camera is going to show it. We get in here, that zoom. Once you get underneath, you got the hole there in the rocker, but once you get past that, everything underneath there is pretty clean. There's no holes in the floorboard. Everything that's actually important is in pretty good shape. Personally, the bottom of these doors rotten out is really the least of my concerns. Not something that I'm really too worried about. Let's see what we got inside. Oh wait, hold on. We also want to point out this thing's got the uh, right rear window delete option apparently from the factory. That's a rare option. Apparently I locked this out. Let's go to the other side. Grab the key. He's a little crooked. That's all right. It's just a derby car, right? Let's see what we can find in here. Temperature sure ain't going up while we're doing this. Ooh. What do we got there? There's the three main parts to the, the, the derby cars. Number one, it's the fun of finding the derby car and not only finding the car itself, but what in the world you find inside of it. Uh, All the way from a complete frozen chicken <laughs> to obviously... Sorry guys, that was before you... <laughs> murder weapons and... Here you can see we, got we got lunch! That's a, oh man, they didn't finish all that. They didn't. That's a little bit well, concerned. let's see if we can find a spoon. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I got nothing to do with that. Start oh, that up here. That's where I would keep the lids for my spaghettios, personally. Oh, perfect. Wrist uh, slitters. <laughs> oh, we got a title. That's always a plus. T title helps. I might have knew that was in there. Title. Now, you'll notice... 2000. Yes, she is a 2000 Chevy Cavalier. Oh, we've got... What's that beautiful duct tape on there? Custom interior. <laughs> Olive drab green. Oh, apparently when Bambi took a hold of this thing, it actually did pop the airbag, so that's the reason that you see the duct tape all over it. Um, last time I found one with duct tape all over the steering wheel, it had little baggies with white powder in it, but fortunately, I don't think we're going to have that with this one. I think that's just to hold them shut. No flower in this car, but one of the Ooh. things I love to find, the car starts to give back a little. Hey, we're already a we're not 25 ahead. cents in the good. I'm all about that. What do we got back here? We got some Hot Wheels cars. Looks like more silverware. Perfect. <laughs> oh. Well, let's hope the oh, hell. car goes there being already. Pretty good. Yep. Knife number two. Another crime scene. Hey, we still got broken glass in the back. That's cool. Coffee cup. Now, we haven't opened the trunk in there. I'm thinking aside from the mayo, it doesn't really look like there's much good in the back seat. So, Adam, let's see if we can pop the trunk on this thing and see what kind of goodies we got. 
just so you all know, if we find a body in here, this thing ain't making it to YouTube. Got that key? So right away, you know, as you're watching, if you're watching right now, there's obviously <laughs> there's not no a body. body <laughs> it should. Oh, we got a net. All right, this is oh, a there's a good sign. sign. It, it's a great runner. Whenever there's all we got of... we got antifreeze. Yeah. Oh. Probably a leak in the. We radiator. got some high mileage oil. That probably means there's a leak in we, the oil. We got. We, oh, we got a backup plan for when the car doesn't run at all that day. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. It looks like I think we might have a spare tire in there. Let's see if we can pop that thing open. Donuts are always great. Anytime we can find a spare, we're pretty happy. And usually you can see what kind of shape the oh, trunk's in. Booby trap. There's nails. Oh, lovely. You're gonna break it, break it with authority. My fingers are too cold, I can't tell if it's turning. <laughs> well, Adam's doing that, I'm actually gonna show you guys underneath. Another reason that I didn't think we really had much for concerns. You see the frame rails under here? It's got some crusty back on the where the bumper meets up, but other than that, it's actually all pretty damn clean. Under the spare tire area, everything's clean. Rear suspension. I think we've got a pretty good find here. And now that Adam's freezing, let's see. We have, ta-da, we got a spare tire. So that'll obviously end up on the, uh, on the back of this car at some point. But we're gonna go warm up. We're gonna work on getting this thing inside the garage stall. We're gonna start tearing it apart for you guys. We'll let you follow along. Thanks for watching.